So I got a 500 liter one so that I can jump right inside the thing. This thermometer here, basically that goes, this probe here goes inside the ice bath. Alrighty, now it's time to silicon the joints up. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ant and on today's video, I'm going to be um, building a ice bath out of a chest freezer. So um, I've gone ahead and I've bought this 500 litre um, chest freezer. Let's open it up. So yeah, we won't be uh, needing these baskets, so I'll get rid of those baskets. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around and silicon up um, all the joins so no water can um, escape out. So basically, um, what I'm doing is, I'm making this waterproof, and then I'm going to be putting water inside it, turning it on, so that the water gets to a certain degrees, about 10 to 12 degrees, um, so then I can do ice bath, um, ice bath. The other thing that I have to go along with the freezer is this thermometer. So this thermometer here, Basically that goes, this probe here goes inside the ice bath and then this bit plugs into the wall and then the freezer plugs into here, right? So the way that it works is the probe picks up the temperature. Um, like I said, I'm gonna set it to maybe like 10 or 12 degrees, not too sure yet. And then once it gets to that 10 or 12 degrees, it shuts it off. So the idea of that is so that um, the, the thing doesn't freeze over because you don't want it to have like it to freeze the ice or anything like that. You just want the water to be really, really cold, but not so cold that it ices over. Even though it's called an ice bath, which is weird. Um, yeah, but we want to make sure that it turns off um, once it gets to that temperature. Um, so yeah, I've got that and I've got that. And basically I'm going to go get some silicon, silicon all the joins up and then um, I can let that cure and then fill it up with water. So I got a 500 litre one so that I can jump right inside the thing. So I can sit down, actually down there, and then my feet are stretched out all the way, and then my whole body is submerged inside the tank. So as you can see, I'm lying down. I've got my back resting up against this little bit here. It's like a little step. Um, yeah, and like I'm fully submerged in here. My shoulders are down in here, um, which is really, really good so that I can have my full body submerged in the water all at once, instead of doing my legs and then trying to do my upper body somehow. So yeah, that's the reason I went for the 500 liter, was so I can fully submerge in here all at once. Alrighty, so I've got some clear wet area silicon. So it's made for kitchen and bathroom. So where there's gonna be a lot of water present to stop any mold. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead now and silicon up all the joins around here to make it watertight. And I've also got um, this little tap contraption, which I wanna put into the drain. I wanna put into the drain port there, um, cause that's where, the, that's where you drain the water out of um, when you wanna defrost it, or in my case, emptying the water. So I've got this tap set up that I want to put here so that um, I can just plug a garden hose into that and then run it off into the garden somewhere and then drain the water out. But also I can use it as a, a, fill, a fill port. So I can plug it in um, as if I was going to drain it and then just plug it into a normal um, tap and then, uh, and then fill it up instead of running the hose over and sitting it in there. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and wipe down all the joins with this spray and wipe. Um, I'm doing that so that the silicon has a nice area um, to stick to and make sure there's nothing there that's going to stop the silicon from not adhesing to the surfaces. Alrighty, now it's time to silicon the joins up.
So I've gone around and siliconed all the joins around the whole thing. I've also gone ahead and done it um, at the top here where the inside of this meets the um, plastic here. Um, and if you're wondering why I was spraying soapy water on top of the silicon after I had uh, put the bead down. And so when you go along with the, um, with the tool afterwards or a knife, to scrape it nice and clean to get a nice edge on it um, it stops it from sticking to the sides so the soapy water will actually create a barrier between the silicon and the surfaces and um, basically when you wipe it off it won't get stuck to here because the soapy water's there to stop it from getting stuck now I can let all the silicon dry overnight um, but I'm going to go ahead and work on putting this um, drain tap into the hole there the next morning so i've got my drain plug all glued in there um i've ran my thermometer in here so it's just kind of going through the middle loosely around the back i've double sided taped the um digital part of the thermometer the controller to the side here i've got it all plugged in um i've set it to 14 degrees the probe is currently reading about 15 degrees so now it's time to fill the water up and then uh, let it cool and then it should shut off at 14 degrees. So gonna do that now and um, leave it to sit, probably take 24 hours or something to, to get down to temperature. Um, and then I'll get back to you then. Alrighty, got the water filled up to where I think it needs to be. So the temperature probe, is actually reading 18.2 so that's the obviously the temperature of the water now um, and I've got it set at 14 like I said before so gonna shut the lid and wait till it gets down to 14 degrees alrighty so it's the next day and as you can see that's the temperature we've got it set to 14 degrees it's now at 13.9 so the water is at 13.9 degrees it actually cooled down um, within about 10 hours. So I was out all day yesterday for about 10 hours. And when I came back, it was at 14 degrees. So as you can see, the lights are not on on the um, on the freezer itself. So that means the freezer is not currently running because it's sitting at the right temperature. And now it's time to give it a test. So I just went in for four minutes. Um, it's actually like eight o'clock in the morning right now. So that was a bloody good wake up call. Um, I think I've, I've been doing three minutes in like my actual bath with, um, with ice blocks, um, just running the cold water and then chucking like three bags of ice in there. And um, I've been doing like three minutes. And so I was gonna do three minutes, but then I thought, while well, I'm in here, I may as well just do the four minutes or do four minutes. Um, and uh, yeah, just pushed through it and um, got a bit shaky. <laughs> Still a bit shaky now, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but yeah, that was good. Alrighty, so it's actually, um, I think about a month or two later um, since the first time that I jumped in the ice bath. And so I had it set at 14 degrees and I did that for, um, I did that for a couple of weeks and then um, I dropped the temperature down to 13 degrees and then I did that for a couple of weeks and um, we actually had like a, um, a party here for my brother and had some ice blocks in, um, in an esky um, and I ended up pouring the ice blocks into the freezer um, once the party was over and it cooled the water down once the ice blocks melted it cooled the water down to 12 degrees and um, what I noticed over the next week um, or two was that the temperature didn't actually rise it stayed at 12 degrees and um, it's been probably yeah it's been a month since I put the ice blocks in I think even more um, 
and the temperature has not gone up. I'll show you the, the gauge. So as you can see, that's the temperature of the water. This is what we have it set to. So we've got it set at 13, but the water is at, you know, 12 degrees. So the, um, the chest freezer is so insulated that it, it keeps the, the water like at 12 degrees, um, which is amazing. Uh, unless you wanted it to heat up, of course. So, right, so gonna wrap this video up here. Um, if you found it helpful, please um, write in the comments and uh, hit that like button. And if you have any questions, also pop them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please cons consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. I post videos about health and wellness stuff, spirituality, mindset, um, coaching, all things like that. So if you want to stay up to date with all the new videos, hit subscribe and have a great day.